They carve out vast networks of tunnels over a hundred feet long. They're the descendants of an Ice Age beast that weighed over 6,000 pounds. And they poop squares? It looks like this cute little teddy bear is the perfect package of friendly and ferocious. This is the Wondrous Wombat, today on Weird in the Wild. <laughs> to catch a glimpse of our reclusive furry friend, we'll travel all the way down to the coast of Australia and to the island of Tasmania. Here, nestled deep below the hilly woodlands, is where the wombat calls home. Dig in tunnels! It's a rare treat to see a wombat in the wild. A solitary nocturnal animal, they prefer the safety of their vast underground tunnels. Their sharp claws and compact frames make them excellent diggers. It's not uncommon to have as many as 12 distinct burrows, each with their own subtunnels containing multiple exits and rest stops. It's like their very own highway system, complete with traffic jams. Hey, Joey! Baby wombats are called joeys, just like baby koalas are also called joeys. Well, isn't that just the cutest little guy you ever seen? By the way, wombat pouches face backwards with their opening toward their behind. You might wonder why. Well, when Mama Wombat is digging, it's so that Joey doesn't get a mouthful of dirt and can safely nurse for the next six to eight months while riding carpool in a pouch. Very convenient. But wait, there's more. The backward pouch isn't their only special feature. For a medium-sized animal, the wombat has one huge asset and it knows how to work it. Not only does the wombat use its butt to crush other predators, when threatened, they will dive into their burrow, blocking the entrance with their double-wide backside. By the way, their butts can easily handle scratches and bites thanks to extra cartilage in that area. So, predators, take your best shot. Poop squared! Speaking of butts, wombats produce cube-shaped poop. You heard right, cubes! The mechanics behind this poop-tastic brick remain a mystery, but are thought to be due to the journey of a wombat's diet. They have an exceptionally long 33-foot gastrointestinal tract that can take food four to six days to pass through. But by the time it reaches the end, the wombat system has squeezed every last drop of water and nutrients it can get. And all that's left is a very personal calling card. By the way, wombats can live years without drinking actual water, since they get most of their water from the food they eat. Wombats actually use their droppings to communicate with other wombats, warning them that they're in the wrong territory. And the cube shape helps their message stay in place. You'll find these droppings marking fallen trees, fresh mushrooms and burrows. Diprotodon! Along with koalas, the wombat is the closest surviving relative of the diprotodon, otherwise known as the giant wombat rhinoceros, a six-foot-tall, ten-foot-wide, 6,000-pound Ice Age beast the size of a modern-day hippopotamus. Crikey! Much like the wombat, the diprotodon has turned in feet and a backward-facing pouch. For these ancient giants traveled in herds, can you imagine that stampede? While I wouldn't want to run into their ancestors, the wombat is certainly one cool creature. Why, did you know the wombat can run faster than most humans at 25 miles per hour? Or that a group of wombats is called a wisdom. So many fun facts about this fascinating furry friend. Uh-oh, a wisdom's heading my way, and fast, I gotta run!